Hi, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name's Kathy Fillion. Thanks so much for joining me today. I've got a really fun project to share with you. We're gonna take some plain sneakers. Now these are kids size, because we're doing character sneakers, but of course you could do this on any size sneakers. You wanna get light colored canvas sneakers, and we're going to turn them into some cute character designs. I'm using Pokemon here. You can use any kind of different design that you want. And the way we're doing that is with paper napkins and fabric Mod Podge. Now this is important to use the fabric formula because it is the premier formula for working with fabrics. And yes, these are canvas shoes, so they're fabric. Fabric Mod Podge, once it's cured and sealed, it's machine washable. Now for these shoes, I don't throw them in the machine, but you can spot clean them. You can clean them with a wet rag. This is going to be a great formula for doing these canvas shoes. This same technique will work on canvas tote bags or any kind of canvas fabric like that. All right, let's dive in and get to it. We're gonna start with some plain canvas shoes and your favorite napkins. These are paper napkins. We're gonna separate those plies. We're only gonna work with the top printed ply, and this is super important. You just want that top printed section. Now go ahead and cut out your design. Sometimes this is tricky, so you might wanna use detailed scissors. We're gonna use fabric Mod Podge for this. I like to stuff the shoe just to give it a little bit of stability. So just gather all of your cutout elements, and we're going to apply the fabric Mod Podge directly to the shoe. You just need a nice, thin, even coat. Then you're gonna place your paper napkin elements onto the Mod Podge and gently tap with your finger. I'm gonna go in and fill in in different spots and go ahead and brush that design down. And you can use your finger to smooth out any wrinkles also. We're gonna to top coat later, so right now you're just trying to get the images down. And here's a little tip for going around those edges. Place your element down, then rub with your fingernail or the end of a pencil just to create a crease line, and then you'll be able to cut along that line. That'll give you a nice finished look along the edges of your shoes and the seams. So now we're just gonna keep applying Mod Podge and keep adding our elements. You can already see how cute these shoes are turning out. Once all your elements are in place, you're going to let this dry for about three hours before top coating. Top coating is very important. You're gonna top coat three times with fabric Mod Podge and that will make your shoes very weather friendly. Three times with an hour of dry time in between each top coat. How cute are these? And it's endless design ideas. So I know that you're gonna be looking at napkins a little bit differently and thinking, how can I create some fun character shoes? Thanks so much for joining me today. We wanna to see what you're making, so make sure you use those hashtags Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts so everybody back at Plaid can see your designs. Have a great crafty week.